Hey, what's up guys? It's Excelsior Tech. I'm back with another video. Today, I will be showing you how to install an SSD. Uh, in this example, it is my HP Pavilion gaming laptop. This tutorial will work really for any SSD in any machine um, if you just adapt it correctly. This first bit of the tutorial is for specifically for my laptop or your PC if it has Intel Optane in it. That's what this first little bit is for, so just keep that in mind. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing here is to launch um, Intel Rapid Storage Technology, which is what's up, and then go to the Optane tab, and then you want to disable the Optane, which is what I just did. So you click Disable and click Yes, and then wait for that to happen. Sped through, it's done. And then once that is done, we'll reboot it. Now, also, sorry, I'm not using a screen recorder. Um, just because it, the rebooting, that's why I'm not. Now you're going to want to open up the laptop. So get your toolkit of choice or just a screwdriver. Uh, this, I'm going to use a Phillips 2.5 bit for my laptop. Yours could be different. And... I mean, it's not terribly important which one you use, but I'm using the 2.5 here. Now I'm going to want to take out all the screws. I've been in this laptop already uh, at least five times. I don't know. Just look, look around. I replace the RAM, whatever. So once all those screws are out, uh, you're going to want to take the back off. Since this is not my first time, it'll be easier for me, but your first time could be hard. So a suction cup and a uh, plastic pry tool so you don't scratch anything could help, will help actually. Suction cup for sure helps. Your first time probably won't pop off just like mine did there. It'll, it'll probably be harder. Now, right there is where the Optane is. So you're going to want to take that out. Uh, if it has it, of course, just unscrew the screw and then pull it right out. Should mention, don't touch really stuff in there. I mean, you could fry something, you could mess up, you could really mess up your PC, it could break. But there's the Optane, I just took it out. Now here's the SSD I'm using, it's a Western Digital um, 500 gig M.2 SSD NVMe. NVMe. Now I'll slide this in. Be careful not to break it or anything. It slides in and then you push it down and then you screw it in. So that's what I'm about to do here. If you are scared you're going to touch something, you can always use an anti static wrist strap. Uh, I just didn't use it because I knew, yeah, I was really, to be honest, I was being lazy. So once that's in, uh, you can put the cover back on. I screwed it all up a while, but you might not want to do that because you're gonna, you might need to go back in. So you might just want to kind of lay the top on or snap it in. Make sure you get all the snaps eventually. There's, they're all around the border. Um, once you do finally put it back together for, at least for the time being. Now, uh, once that's all together, boot up your PC, open disk management. And you're gonna to wanna to right click on your new SSD and um, format it. So you can pretty much keep everything as default. Right here, I am changing the name of it. Doesn't really matter. Um, if you know what you're doing there, you can change stuff if you want, but I'd recommend just using the default things. And there I did, I set it up. And if we were to stop here, you would see it's just another drive and that's it. But now, if you want to make a boot drive, this is how you do it. Like I said, only try this if you really need to. I have uh, Macrium Reflect as the tool to clone my drive. Because this cloning part isn't dangerous, it's the deleting the old drive that makes it dangerous. So, open Macrium Reflect, click Clone, um, and then select the drive you want to clone to, which is the one I just put in, or you just put in. And then you're going to want to delete the partitions that are already there and drag over 
the partitions from the active boot drive or just the one that you want to clone from. Now here, uh, because the sizing is not the same, the hard drive I have is one terabyte. I'm going to need to decrease the size on the main like storage partition a little bit so there is room for the recovery partition. That's what I'm doing here. And once that's done, I'm going to click next. I'm going to go through to uh, clone everything. Uh, yet again, I'd recommend sticking with the default settings unless you really know what you're doing. And uh, go through, look everything over, make sure it looks right. And then you can, once that's done, you can click clone and wait for all that to happen. It, it, it's going to take a while. So with the with editing, I'm going to skip through um, most of it. I think the elapsed time in the end to clone was, I want to say, an hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, you're just going <laughs> to let it sit. If you're cloning an SSD to an SSD, it won't take near as long, but I had a hard drive I was cloning, so that would take much longer. Here it is starting to clone. While this is happening, I just want to remind you, this part isn't necessarily dangerous. It's when you, if you're going to delete the stuff in the old drive, if you didn't clone everything right, you won't be able to boot your PC. You might lose stuff. Trust me, only do it if you know what you're doing. And you probably want to check out a different tutorial. This isn't completely thorough. Now here you can see it's cloned, uh, both drives are identical. The new SSD, which was that folder, has has everything on it that my other drive does. And now I believe I'm going to restart the PC and I'm going to boot from my new SSD. And I'm going to uh, go in like the the back door, uh, I guess you could say, into the like boot settings. That's what I'm doing here. You can follow these steps if you want. Now, a tip I would recommend, uh, which I did not do, I, I forgot, but it would have saved me some time in troubleshooting. Um, could save you a big mistake. Before you delete everything on your old drive, if you want to, I would recommend um, once everything's cloned, remove the old drive okay here i am booting from the new drive uh remove the old drive and make sure your computer still boots with the new drive that you clone to that way you are sure you can delete everything on the old drive so like physically remove the old drive to make sure it's safe that will save you could save you if you didn't clone something right um it'll save you so that is a big tip definitely recommend doing that now here it is, booted up. I booted onto the new drive. Everything worked. Um, it will take a long time to boot the first time, or at least it did for me. But after that, it is so much faster to boot with an SSD than a hard drive. It's like instant. It's insane. And there it is. It's working. So thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you found this tutorial useful. And I'll see you next time.